we are back for Rides and Paws part two, and we're joined by the two organizers. I'm with Sean, and he's got a really cool V10 Audi to show us. So also going to talk about a really cool nonprofit that Ryder and David have. Welcome to Cars and Questions, the show where we go to car meets and ask dumb questions. We are back for Rides and Paws Part 2, and we're joined by the two organizers. This is Heat and Landon. Yep. So, how are you guys doing today? Uh, we're doing good. Just trying to stay cool out here in this heat. Yeah, so one of my uh, first questions to you is, whose idea was it to have a meet at 1 p.m. in the middle of summer? Kind of both of us. Okay. We agree on everything. We don't... He doesn't make a choice, I don't make a choice. We put ideas together, then we decide on it together. Okay. That way it makes it happen, and we're all working together for it. Well, I want you to tell me whose fault it is so I can murder you after the show. So. <laughs> I'll take the fault. <laughs> I, I was about to take the fault. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> uh, no, so, so tell me about your cars. Uh, you both drive GLIs? So, uh, mine is a TSI. Okay, yeah, it's a TSI? Yeah, yeah. TSI. Mine okay. is a GLI. Okay, how do you like it? I love my car. I, I was American before I went with um, German? German cars, yeah. and I was very skeptical about it because okay. of how they were back in the early 2000s. They yeah. were crap. And yeah, yeah. I drove it the first day, and I bought it the first day. Nice. And I hadn't gotten rid of it since. I put up 17,000 to 110 miles on there. Wow. And, and how much years. time? That's it? Wow, do you That's, drive a lot for work? No, I do a lot of highway driving. Uh, to get to where this is now, pr prior to this, yeah. my club, I mean, I hit car shows every single day. Wow. Multiple, multiple ends. Nice. Any, anything I can do to try to get my name out there and awesome. get something going. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's how I've gotten to this point Yeah, with this car. Awesome. And what about you? Uh, what were you driving before? Uh, so this is actually my first car. Uh, I did nice. similar to him. I was with like American cars. Haven't had one, but my dad raised me all my life with American cars. Oh, that's cool. And he switched up and now has a G, uh, GTI. Okay. That he's planning on tuning soon. And so nice. Uh, yeah. Now I'm, I'm a Volkswagen guy. Got him into it. Yeah. And so uh, got it with like sixty thousand miles. Had majority of the stuff that's on it now. Uh huh. It already had like the JNC wheels. It, uh, uh, lowered on solo co uh, solo works okay lovers yeah and uh, I just added like a cold air intake and oh, I'm planning nice. on full on wrapping it soon and I'll be fun doing some other fun stuff yeah do you plan on own. keeping it for a while yeah I plan on keeping it for all throughout college nice and then getting a Mustang on top of it hopefully oh wow yeah two cars before you hit 21 yeah hopefully uh, that'll be fun <laughs> trying yeah you know I bet you take inspiration from your uncle uh, Corey who we oh, actually yeah. interviewed uh, link in the description. We interviewed Corey with his Nissan GTR, and it was such a fabulous car. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I want to talk to you guys about car clubs. So, are y'all both founders of your car clubs? Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what gave you the idea to get started with that? So, with mine, um, it was a parking lot at a Hooters. Okay. <laughs> It was back when I was with Tokyo Nights, uh, and we were doing the whips and wings. Okay. Uh, and I was trying to, I was kind of help run in front with Johnny, and yeah. there was a line of Volkswagens that showed up, and we kind of knew each other from other meets, mm -hmm. and then we were all kind of standing there. My buddy Vince was one that mentioned. He said, "Why don't we start a car club with Volkswagens <laughs> and Audis?" Yeah. And I was like, "You know what?" Yeah. Why not? Exactly. Because, I mean, how else are we going to be able to venture out and, and expand and, and know more about our vehicles other than to get a car club together? Yeah. And that's kind of how ours started, and it's taken off since then. Nice. And what about you? So, uh, which one? Are you Euro Spinners? I'm Euro Spinners. Yeah, and I'm Crossed, crossed outside. outside. And we'll yes, put sir. their Instagrams up on the screen, too. Uh, uh, yes. So, when did you get started with it? So, we started about one and a half to two years ago. Okay. It was actually two of my buddies and I, my best friends, we just decided, hey, we were in our, we we're in my car, and we were like, you know what we should do? Have a car club, and so <laughs> we did it. We went into it. Now we have around 550-ish members, and so yeah, it's nice. just grown tremendously, and nice. it's just yeah. And normally we get photo bombed by people. Uh, today it's cars, so nice Miata over here. Wow, that was nice. 
Um, and so how many members do you have in your Clark Club right so now? We are 43. Um, my plan was to never really be huge on members. Uh, that's not really my goal. I'd rather have a smaller knit community of stronger members and, and everybody that's actually involved. Um, and not to say anything bad about his. He runs his club the way he wants to and, and I love the way he runs his club. Yeah. Uh, we just, we'd like to keep it smaller. We want to be more close knit together. Yeah, once you once you have a whole bunch of members, it gets a lot harder okay. just dealing with all those people. Now, it's great having them, but there's like every once in a while you'll get those people that kind of make it a little difficult. Yeah. But it's understandable. It always happens. Do you so have to kick like, them out? No. Nah, I mean, unless they do something really bad, which is, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it happens every once in a while. But we try yeah. our best to like include everyone. Everyone's welcome. Okay. Just like make sure everyone has a good time. Yeah. And just respects each other. And that's like the main focus. And nice. just help each other out as much as possible. That's and awesome. I, I like that. With that same kind of issue, like we jumped off with our first meet uh, that's on our Instagram page on Eurospinners. And we had a bunch of cars show up, uh, like 60 cars for our first ever out of nowhere. And then our members jumped up to over 100. And then it slowly started to weed itself out. The ones that wouldn't stick around, the ones that were on it for the hype and everything like that. Like, this is what we're doing and what I'm doing is a real car club. I'm not trying to do like, you know, the park and chills at the meets and like we start something. This is a charitable organization, a nonprofit organization. So yeah. that's our goal with our car club. Awesome. And, and that actually brings you to a good point. The the event you guys have put on here, you guys raised a lot of money, you know, last time around, right? in pause. Mm -hmm. um, this one's going to be hopefully raising a little bit more money. I hope so. I hope so. Because the parking lot is, is, according to the registration and according to him on outside the registration, this might overfill. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, what stinks is that since it's so hot, yeah. like last time we were able to have all, a lot of the adoption dogs were able to come out here. Yeah, now they're with the overheat. cars. This time it's just like whenever yeah. people bring their own dogs and stuff, yeah. which is understandable. Like the cement is like hot on the, their paws, so it makes sense. Yeah, no, totally. But, and our last time it was all very windy. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't yeah. hold on. I saw the video. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we had our uh, tripod fall <laughs> yeah. while interviewing your that uncle, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's over. Cut made the, the video. <laughs> so uh, I want to talk to you about your next event, if you're able to tell me anything about it. Um, I think it's going to be even bigger. Is there any spoilers you could give us? Okay, so uh, right now I'm trying to work with church. Yeah. And because that's something like we stand for is just like, yeah. uh, not everyone in our club has to be religious, but like, okay. that's what we how we are, so... We're not going to force anything on you or anything like that, but yeah. we thought it would be cool with us being like a Christian organization, like Christian car club, yeah. that, to have like a church meet and be able to give back to the church and be able to get, and hopefully what we're, we're trying to do is getting animal shelters out to the event oh, so we can, yeah. it could be like all this stuff in one, you know, yeah, make, just, make I, I it great. I wasn't sure if, if he wanted to like spill all the beans or anything, so I was going to let him lead off with that one. Yeah, it's like so thinking about So if he's okay with it, then yeah, that's, he's what he's telling you is true. Uh, the details aren't in all the way yet, yeah. but we're trying to bring together, and I won't spoil this part, but multiple um, okay. animal shelters. Just not gonna mention which ones yet. Oh, that's, yeah. don't worry about that. Eventually they will post it on their Instagrams. Correct. So, you know, be sure to follow them on Instagram. Um, this is amazing what you guys have done. I, I just really Thank wanna you. tell you that. It's, it's awesome that you're not only giving back to the car community, you're just giving back to the community in general. Correct. So that's the goal. Um, and then I, I have to ask you guys, since we're at Rides and Paws, uh, do you guys have any pets? I do. Uh, I have a eight-year-old uh, Staffordshire Terrier, a Champagne and White, named Brutus. Uh, it's a little too hot for him to be out here today, yeah. or I was going to bring him. Yeah. Uh, I might take him to ride Texas Motor Speedway with me later. Be fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot cooler, but I uh, will be bringing him out to the next one. Okay. But he, he's, he's my ESA, he's my service dog pet, uh, nice. and that's everything to me. Yeah. Yes, uh, so I have a Dalmatian pit bull mix named Whoa, Boudreau. That's a uh, it's, interesting he's, he's a pretty dog. He's a pretty dog. <laughs> he's got all the spots and stuff. Yeah. And then I have a Great Pyrenees also named Harley. Oh, you like the and big dogs. Yeah, big dogs. And I have one <laughs> cat. Dog. One cat. I'm just glad they all get along. Nice. So. Well, um, one suggestion for you for the next event. Mm -hmm. Please don't have it at 1 o'clock. <laughs> yes. Please yeah. do it at 8 a.m. We, we may try to go to the morning because it's going to be a lot cooler. Okay. Yeah. We'll try to do that. This is, this is a little warm, and by the time August gets here, it's going to be scorching. Yeah. So I'm, we're going to figure something out for the next one. I'm already sweating, yeah, so 
Um, so Heat and Landon, thank you so much for your time and, yes, and thank, thank you. you so much for just organizing this event. I'm with Sean, um, and he's got a really cool V10 Audi to show us. So, Sean, tell me a little bit more about your car. Yeah, it's a 2015 facelifted V10 R8. Okay. Right? The last year they made the Generation 1 mm -hmm. with the curves and the side blade and, you know, the yeah. iconic uh, Iron Man Audi. Iron Man, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Yep. Uh, so, how long have you had the car? So, I got it uh, December of 2020. Okay. Uh, right before, you know, the pandemic really made yeah. car values shoot up. Oh, that's... Yep. Wow. Did yep. you buy any uh, nice stocks before that, too? No. <laughs> no. I wish I had. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've had it uh, three and a half-ish years. Yeah, three and a half. And, you know, we were chatting before, and you said you put a few miles on it, too? Yeah. So, I bought it with 8,000 miles and just went over 31,000 miles nice. a couple months ago. How often do you yeah. think you drive it? Um, probably twice a week. I work from home, so I don't daily it anywhere to like an office or anything. Okay. But, um, car shows, and yeah. then I did do one 3,000 mile road trip by oh, myself. Oh, wow. Which Tell me. Was amazing. Where, uh, so where did you go and kind of where is the start and finish point? Yeah, so I started from Texas. Okay. Drove no highways, no yeah. interstates, through the mountains nice. of Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tail wow. of the Dragon, Atlanta, worked for three days, and then did it all over again. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Did you uh, grab any pictures from that? Oh, yes. Tons I, and tons of yeah, pictures. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you about that because uh, Sean's actually a photographer too. Yeah. So yeah. tell me when you got started with that. Was that always a passion of yours? Yeah, so I've been a, a photographer, actually professional on the side for nice. almost three decades. Oh, wow. Okay. So when I was in college at uh, Texas Tech, I began doing some photography there on film. Awesome. Some astrophotography, and then I've always had a camera and nice. something, you know, to take pictures of. So. Yeah. And so, you know, if you do professional photography, is there for events? I I events, my biggest money maker is youth sports. Oh, right. doing going to baseball games, football games, soccer games. Interesting. Uh, hooking up with a team and yeah. taking pictures of the kids and awesome. getting them to their parents. Yep. Do you have a particular team that you uh, follow a lot? No, just um, I live in Frisco, so FBSA, which is the Frisco Baseball Softball Association. Nice. Um, hooked up with them and you know do several games a year during yeah. the seasons. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And um, I've seen from your Instagram that you also, you drive this car like God intended. Yeah, just exactly. put it that way. Yep. Um, you've taken that on a track, I believe. Yep. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so my favorite is, of course, Coda. Yes. Right? The Circuit of the Americas, the F1 track, where the big boys run. Um, so much So fun. I go through an HBD, HB, HPDE uh, organization called Edge Addicts. Okay. And um, they, you start in the basics and they train you up and you kind of go up in classes. Yeah. You're not racing with anyone else. You're okay. just racing your own times. Nice. And so it's so much fun. Nice. I've done that there. I've done uh, MSR Crescent, Eagles yeah. Canyon, and the new G2 in Anna. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's, uh, yeah, that's got to be fun. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> yep. um, and then, uh, you know, I kind of want to talk to you a little bit more about your career. Mm -hmm. um, you've obviously worked hard to, to get where you yeah. are. Uh, so what do you do for a living? Yeah, so right now I work for a big software company in Canada called OpenText. Okay. Um, I work in uh, cloud architecture mm -hmm. and of financial operations. So billion dollar, $10 billion software company. Wow. Putting software into the cloud, I help them do that profitably. That's really cool. Yep. So you're into computers and cars? Yep. yep. Uh, that's awesome. Started my career as a system admin working in data centers in the late 90s and just kind of worked my way up. Nice. Uh, I've only worked for three companies in my 25-year career. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool. So, uh, what what fun car did you have before the Audi? Then, that's this, this is your first, first fun one. Car? I've wow. always been a computer guy. Yeah. Until my son started okay. playing games like Gran Turismo, yes. and Forza. Yeah. And then we started playing games together, and then he heard about car shows. Yeah. And we started going to car shows together. <laughs> And then the next thing you know, an Audi's for sale. And I'm like, well, let's drive a car to the car show, kid. Nice. So um, we work on it together. He's graduated and moved out of the house. But a lot of the stuff we did together, our own blood, sweat, and tears. And that's memories I'll always have. So you do your own work for mm -hmm. the most part? For the most part, What's yeah. the biggest job that you've done on the car? I just finished doing a complete brake overhaul. Nice. Uh, new rotors, 
took the calipers off, stripped them down, got wow. them powder coated, new brakes, you know, seals, new pads, new fluid, new lines, everything. Yeah, it. I mean, it looks clean. 28 days it took me to do it, but <laughs> I got it done. Nice. It looks so clean. Yeah, um, now, I'm gonna guess. It's V8. <laughs> yeah. Um, any any plans to upgrade from this Audi, or is this kind of your? You know, I I actually ask myself that quite often. The thing that keeps me from doing it is I don't think I'll ever own another V10. Okay. Right. The, there are no more V10s. Right. You go into a Lambo. You're going to a, a second gen R8. Yeah. Um, and I haven't just haven't found anything. If there's one thing that might might give me, it's maybe a GT4. Okay. A, a Porsche. Yeah. Right. So I can really go to the track. Um, That'd be fun. And we'll just see. Yeah. Like, life has to change a little bit before that happens, but. You no, know. for sure. And, yeah. you know, just for now, just enjoy oh, it. I enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> Miles per gallon. Yes. Yeah. Love that. Uh, Sean, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and, yeah, this has been an awesome interview. Thank you so Very much. Very good. Awesome. Cool. cool. We're here at Rides and Paws, and we're not only benefiting some of the shelter dogs uh, we have for adoption, we're also going to talk about a really cool nonprofit that Ryder and David have. Um, tell me a little bit more about Mental Drive, please. Sure. We're a little nonprofit called Mental Drive Inc. Our whole goal is to take the love that people have for vehicles and give back to people struggling with mental health issues. Awesome. And we try to split everything equally between veterans, first responders, and civilians. Okay. That way no one can get mad at us. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, for sure. But it is, it's probably the first responders and veterans who could benefit from it more, let's just say. It's more of a taboo subject for them. Yeah. So it's actually harder to get. It's easy to find veterans because there's so many organizations for them. Yeah. But whenever it comes to first responders, one thing that I'm running into is that their leadership doesn't want anything to do with us. Oh, that's but sad. it's more like the view that the government's got you taken care of. They'll come to us when they, they need help. Care of. But after talking to police officers and firemen, they never do. Yeah. So what? Um, how long back did you start the the nonprofit? So from concept to now, it's been about two years. Okay. The first year was completely just getting on paperwork that we're a 501c3 nonprofit gotcha. tax exempt. Okay. And so this year is the, our first. It, official year of actually getting out in the community and the car is fairly new we just got it what about a month ago yeah it's been a month or so. it might be new to you but yeah it's yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> 1972 nice. Fiat 124 spider so in this price range you can find a lot of different vehicles we uh, paid 4300 for yeah, it 43 oh, that's pretty good uh, so the guy that was selling it he gave us a good deal knowing what we're doing and okay. stuff like that and he he has to know like the updates on the car. That's yeah. kind of the deal, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a 1972 Fiat 124 Spider. The whole premise of the car is that it's our sponsor vehicle. So okay. anybody that donates or a, a person or a business that gives us past two thousand dollars, okay, we we're having it wrapped by Buffalo Customs over in Sanger, Texas. Awesome. They're donating the wrap, and so on top of the wrap, we'll put the logos. At the end of the year, we'll have a. A benefit for our sponsors yeah. and people that donated to us to that point you know yeah and the car will end up going home with one of them nice okay so um, I, I do want to ask you to maybe tell us some of your information where people could donate sure uh, if you go to www.mentaldrive.org um, that's at the very top you can see where to donate we have upcoming events we have one coming up next weekend in Gainesville Texas okay uh, car show. Nice. And you want to tell me anything? Nope, you got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please follow us on Instagram and all that. I'm terrible at social media, so we definitely need that boost. Yeah, no, no worries. We will throw up their uh, Instagram handle somewhere over here. Please be sure to go to their website to donate. Uh, please be sure to donate to the Colony Animal Shelter yeah. too. We, we, you know, there's a lot of great causes out there, and I, I love that the car community is actually trying to come and, and just help different causes. Oh, yeah. It's weirdly, a lot of the car community loves those pooches, too, so. Same, I mean, 
me included. Oh yeah. Um, anyways, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And, I appreciate uh, yeah. it. Oh well, that's different. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Too. Sorry, sorry, sorry.